Now, here in the Hall of Heroes, we fight, like, robotic versions of the minions and ultimately of the heroes from previous levels. Ah, the kitties. Yep. Kitties are vomiting robotic hairballs. I uh, see now we're on the uh, Gideon Stew floor. Also, people seem to have very long lifespans in this world because the last induction was over a hundred years ago, and yet, you know, Rock Roxy Rockhead is still out there doing races and whatnot. <laughs> and looking pretty good in that miniscare. Yeah, she. So I, it's, People have much longer lifespans in the Bleed universe, I guess. Unless they know the unless, friend chick. Unless Rin, unless Rin murders them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of which... There's, there's the... <laughs> the race for life cancer, kids. <laughs> Dying a second time. <laughs> they were brought back as cyborgs, but... They're just trying to cure cyborg cancer if you kill them. Here's Battalion floor. The sound effects and music are definitely NES era. Uh-oh. There he is. And, no and now, ladies and gents, we take you live to the Hall of Heroes. I have no idea why that's the new one. <laughs> Which has seen its first inductee in over 100 years. This... That's him! He killed them all! Boo! Boo! You don't want a new hero! We hate you! <laughs> As I said, Ren didn't think this through! Hey, who is that? Is she going to stop him? Kick his butt! We hate him! Ah, so she framed him. Go! Go! You can do it! You jerk! How dare you create credit for my kills! You aren't even a character in this game! <laughs> what? I'm in the entire opening cutscene! Nobody looks at those! Now give me my title! Ha! Only I am fit to be the hero of this world! Now die! I love his little character portrait, by the way. <laughs> Ow! Uh oh. The boss rush begins. Why do you have to fight all the bosses in a row? You have to, yep. Actually, you have to and you have to fight two of the bosses each in a row. Oof. Yeah. As you can see here. Now, do oh! do the two bosses share that health life? They oh. do. Yes, they do. It's not completely merciless. <laughs> Rin, you were far from one shot away. I don't know who you're kidding in that. Uh... Oh, there we go. And actually, this kind of. Perversely, kind of makes the when you fight the Roxy Rockette battle, it actually in some ways makes it easier because you know she's hard to hit, but now you have two targets. Yeah. I mean, there's more firepower to evade as well, but. But you don't even need to technically hit her. As long as you hit one of them, it's it's good. So. Right. Well, breaks. Ah, speaking of which. Oh, there's two of her. Okay. There aren't two of the two bunny ships left. It's actually her biggest advantage is that is how hard to hit she is, and now she's twice half as difficult. So, I'm not gonna lie, like the robotic version of her kind of has got like this Webigale from DuckTales look going on. <laughs> Before the other. There, there we, we go. go. Oh, now there's two, uh, two, uh, whites. Flamethrower time? Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> also, you notice when they show the TV? The TV knobs look really primitive. 
Not to mention the anchor was a giant sunflower. Well, that, there's that, but it's like the, t <laughs> the TV looked like something like from my grandma's house in the 80s. With the knobs that click like really hard. Yeah. So I don't know, maybe, maybe in this universe, like, there was like lots and lots of research put into like biology and life extension technology, but not so much into home electronics. No. We got the knob. What, 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 what do we need buttons for? Perhaps I'm overthinking it. That's a possibility. I want to know what was up with the news anchor. Uh-oh. See these guys? Now there's four of them. <laughs> oh, it's like four something. That's sexy. Yeah. They're gonna have like eight billion babies. Nice. And I used the flamethrower basically because I just I didn't think to change it, but it works pretty well. I was gonna say you got a big blanket of, of hit area. That's pretty good. Yeah, which is nice when there's multiple targets across the screen. Wow, you are doing really well on this tiny little amount of life. Oh, oh no! Soon. Did she break in half right there? I don't think. So. I don't think so. Super Soaker 50, the most practical of all Super Soakers. I know that there are multiple types, I don't really remember the difference. I think anything bigger than the 50 was just kind of unwieldy. There was one with a backpack. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like the 500 or something. Carrying like 10 gallons of water on your back like an idiot. You got like giant like cruiser Super Soakers. <laughs> Look like a World War II flamethrower. Down and only get pumped down with me. I mean, you go down like three rights, basically. Or two rights, basically. I don't exactly get the name of this game. A bleed it doesn't seem like the most appropriate title. It is kind of, yeah, it is. Like, it's not especially bloody. No. I mean, there is blood. But... And I guess it, it can, it could be punishing, you know, so I get that, maybe. Oh, oh it's, it's, uh... Blob guy. Robot it turns out the flamethrower just fucks this guy just savagely. Seriously, you are ripping his ass off. That's right. I kind of wish I had figured I know this earlier. And I learned it here basically by accident because I just like, oh, well, you know, let's try this one. See what happens. Oh, no, I got hit. Oh, back to S rank. Yes, he went, to, yes! he went to B, then A real quick. Uh oh. The final confrontation. He's got a lot of attacks. A lot of them actually are basically you, are basically your attacks. <laughs> like he fires your rocket launcher. He's got your uh, your mo your like your stationary mind, which I never used in this play. But he's got your katana. He's got the katana, which you can also get. Is he supposed to look like a Final Fantasy character? I wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> he had a pair of goggles that he never never seems to use. Oh no! Well, I was on the. Game over. Here we go. You know, this is like it's like the wreckage and corpses of all our past my past <laughs> victims in the background. Whoa. You can actually have a sword in this game. It's it's kinda of, I'm not that good with it, but it's kinda of needed. It kinda of really changes the way the game's play. Is it powerful? Yeah. You don't want to be on the ground when that goes on, basically. <laughs> And you can, it's like swings in the direction you press. And, yeah, it's pretty neat. Like I said, I'm not great with it, so I don't really use it here. Uh, you don't want to bring a sword to a gunfight. You're fucking him up right now. Oh. Oof. I think this, I, I don't think I get him on this attempt. Gotta leave the suspense, man. I'm rooting for you. Yes. 
Spoiler alert, sorry. <laughs> yeah, he I wish I wish someone who knew Final Fantasy or Dragon Ball more than me, because he looks like a Dragon Ball Z character too. It wouldn't surprise yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if his hair was sort of like, Oh no. He's definitely based on like a video game cliche. Oh No, it's like every Dragon Ball character looks alike to me anyway. So <laughs> yeah, me too. Coming down to the wire. Maybe I do beat him on this one. I should pay it I should pay attention to things I do. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, nice job. Level clear. Victory. I actually died fewer times than I did against the dragon. Alright. She did it! She beat him! So basically now we... Now basically now we've accidentally won the acclaim of the world. Because that guy stole our credit for murdering all the heroes. But then we killed him. So they think that we've avenged them all basically. <laughs> so it's it's like a scandal that you have actually murdered <laughs> all these heroes. I always wanted to be a hero. And <laughs> I like the fact that, like, I remember I started playing the game and thinking, you know, this seems like a bad idea if you want to be acclaimed as a hero to murder all these people. <laughs> You're like, oh yeah, it actually is a bad idea. And there's a guy who steals the credit for it. <laughs> and is hated worldwide. But, and, I'll take a look back, and victims gone by. <laughs> Free, those, those definitely look like straight out of Portal. The Rocket Squad. Laser bounce. How do I <laughs> say goodbye? <laughs> and the rest. That's what that was. <laughs> Uh, and here's their vital stats. Height 11-4. Wow, he's a big dude. Fourteen uh, one. Proli proliferating. <laughs> White Mark 2. Favorite color. Favorite game yeah. frequency. Oh, he's got a good taste. Bunny Rockette. Height 6 foot 2. Oh, she's, she's a huge chick. Age, 207. Dragon. Best hero of all. Height, 50 feet, 7 inches. <laughs> Blood type, AB. The cores. Most powerful, mirror core. Best color scheme. <laughs> Honorable mention, bubble core. Bubble core got the participant trophy. <laughs> like, 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 like. Like when I was in the Pinewood Derby as a child, and I got like 31st out of 32nd. <laughs> it's the miscongeniality of the award. <laughs> All right. So that is that is bleed. What do you think? Ah, uh, looks fun, man. Uh, yeah, great game. I've read somewhere that the uh, I, I believe on this Twitter something. I think the uh, the maker actually is working on a bleed too. Well, I hope with all the attention the uh, Sony is giving to indies, there's a chance yeah. to come to PS4. And here's just what the, uh, here's like the arcade menu. And the, uh, I call them the challenge mode. You can fight multiple bosses at once. Choose a, choose a location. You can have up to three bosses on screen fighting you simultaneously. It's pretty nuts. <laughs> that is pretty nuts. Yeah. So like I said, this is available for, uh, Oh, and here's your, you know, carriers. Rin. There's Mecha. Mecha Rin. Charges your energy bar by dodging attacks and damaging enemies. Robo Rin, not Mecha Rin. White Mark 1 becomes increasingly more powerful as a style gauge is raised. That's cool. That's a cool feature. And the last one, it's like, it's not good. I'm guessing it's the blonde guy. Probably. That's what I would guess, too. And, but yeah, like, if, yeah, if, if what you saw sounds interest, saw seems interesting to you, it's available on, I think, like, Xbox Live Arcade and uh, PC. 
fantastic game. I, I strongly recommend it if you like action. Thank, uh, I'd like to thank Corey for joining me for this. Yeah, it's my pleasure, man. And, uh, folks, if just if you want to be win the approval of your peers, don't do it via murder. That that that's our main lesson tonight. <laughs> that's like our this this show is brought to you by. <laughs> yes, it's the number is one eight seven. Took me a second. I'm kind of fucked up now. <laughs>